Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll learn the words and phrases you need to know and use for more effective and fluent daily communication in English. And this vocabulary is related to phones. We all use phones every single day every single hour, if not every single second. So I mean, we just have to know these words and phrases. And I know that a lot of people want to work remotely in call centers, so this will help them a lot. Okay, so let's get down to business. Let's start with the easiest and the most obvious one. So if you need to call someone on the phone, that's exactly what you say, to call someone. So let's use it in a sentence. I'll call you tonight. I need to call dad, or let's call Gary or Anna. If you hear people say to ring someone, it's the British version. Americans don't say to ring. Another very common way to say to call someone is to give someone a call. So let's use it in a sentence. I'm gonna give you a call later. She said she would give him a call. One more way to say the same thing is to hit someone up. So to hit someone up means to contact them by phone to ask them something or to make plans to give someone a call or text someone. And it is very informal. This phrase also means to ask a question. You can hear it from YouTubers at the end of their videos. They say, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. And one more phrase you could use instead of saying to call someone is to give someone a buzz. It's a slang term for to call. And you know, the usage of these informal or formal words and phrases depends on the setting, context, and the situation. Sometimes you can even use slang words and terms with your business partners. It all depends. If you need to call someone, you could also use the phrase to make a phone call which sounds a little bit more formal or professional. Let's use it in a sentence. Excuse me, I just need to make a quick phone call. And it really does sound better than simply saying I need to call someone. When somebody calls you, what do you do? You answer the phone or answer the call. Another way to say this is to say, pick up the phone. And it doesn't mean to physically pick it up, although in some contexts it might mean that if the phone is on the floor and you need someone to pick it up. In general, it means answering the phone. When the phone is ringing and you want to pick it up, you could also simply say, I'll get it or I'll take it. Then, when we're done talking on the phone, we hang up the phone. Also, to hang up means to disconnect a phone call or to suddenly and abruptly end a phone call. Let's take a look at it in a sentence. When they started asking for my credit card information, I just hung up the phone. There's also the phrase to hang up on someone. It's when you end the phone call unexpectedly and abruptly, usually because you got mad at the person you were speaking to or got upset with them. So let's take a look at the example. When someone is rude to me on the phone, I just hang up on them. To dial a number means to use a keypad or touch screen to enter a phone number. If someone calls you when you are busy and you can't talk, what do you do? That's right, you let them know that you will call them back. To call back means to call someone who called you earlier or to call someone again at a later time. You could also use the phrase to return a call, which means the same thing as to call back. The difference here is that to call back is informal, while to return a call is more business-like and formal. Very often when you call tech support or support centers or other official establishments, you first talk to some kind of assistant and then if you need a specialist, they will connect you to the specialist or to another department. Or they could also say to put through. To put through means to connect in this context. I'll put you through to our manager. Please remain on hold. And here is another phrase, please remain on hold, which means don't hang up, stay on the line and wait till you are connected to the proper department or person. So you can be put on hold or you can put someone on hold. If you get cut off, this means that the phone connection was suddenly interrupted. Also, when you send a text message to someone from your phone, you can say that you texted them. 
not messaged, but texted. If you say messaged, this would mean that you send them a message through social media or an app. When you run out of battery on your phone, this means that your phone battery doesn't have enough charge to continue working. You could also say, my battery died or my battery is dead instead of saying my phone ran out of battery. To have reception means that your phone is picking up a signal and is getting enough data so that you are able to make phone calls and send texts. Let's use this phrase in the sentence. Sorry for not calling you back. I was on my dad's farm and there's no reception. Or I was on my dad's farm and I had a very bad reception. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful. Like, subscribe, and see ya!